YouTube, I am back, and, um, a little educational video for, um, this is probably gonna be really short, but, for people out there who, um, end up getting, like, um, like this, oh, well, it worked for me, apparently, but, um, all you have to do to fix that really is, um, one second, sorry about this, I was not expecting it to do that. Okay. Alright, well, all you have to do really is, um, click on your little delicious picture up here. Um, turn user account control on or off. And when you go in, this will be checkmarked right here. This little check S. Uncheck him and hit OK. And I usually, it isn't going to do it for me right now because it's already unchecked. But really, um, you can't do this unless you're an administrator. And that's the only way to get rid of the system error 5. Access is denied thing. That's the only way to get rid of it. Um, I don't know if there's some kind of little encoded thing to get rid of it, but that would just be, like, hard as hell. And I'm just saying, like, say you're, I don't know, um, you're just not allowed on the computer as an administrator. When your parents or whoever is walking away, I'm on my laptop right now, but whenever your parents or whoever just walk away from the computer or something, just quickly go on this, literally just, you just click on this, click on the picture, and it's it's really easy. You just turn user control account on or off. And I I actually just got another newer laptop because the screen on this one broke, so I'm recording this on my TV. But um, yeah, there's uh, on the newer ones on Windows 7. There's a little bar. Just like click it and drag it down to the bottom. And really, guys, when you're not going to use it, if you are an administrator, just turn this back on and off, back and forth, because you don't want any viruses or crap like that. So when you are going to use it, just uncheck it, restart it. It's just, it's just going to save you a lot of damage. So, um, really, um, it's the only way to do it. And, um, you know, after you do that, you can, um, do this or whatever. You can do all that crap. You can do color a or whatever you can do all this crap that was just random typing you can do command you can do all this crap you can do basically whatever you want and i used to know a couple codes but i got more into um physical modifying i might show you a picture of my xbox or something but um it's kind of open right now it's like the 10th time i've opened it up um, I'm thinking about putting a JTAG in because I do know how to use mods offline and crap, and necessarily I don't like mods online. But you know, like maybe a challenge lobby because now everyone I beat online because I know how to mod my game or score or crap like that. I don't do that much anymore. It really gets boring after a while. But now everyone I meet just now everyone I meet just really wants me to make a challenge lobby and yeah, so I might make a JTAG. Honestly, I I know how, but. I need a soldering iron, and I don't have one laying around. I think instead I'm just gonna... Yeah, well, I'll just tell you another video. Anyway, fuck this. But anyway, um, that's all you can do to, um, really help yourself there. So, learn a little bit of it, and really just, you know, be a little sneaky. That's the only way you're gonna be able to do it. Get used to it, and you're welcome, I guess.